Speaking of airport delays, most of us are no stranger to them from bad weather. With West Texas weather patterns changing with climate change, so too is air travel. This is an ABC Big 2 News special report. Weather-related air traffic delays are on the rise. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, 69% of all air traffic delays were caused by weather phenomena from 2009 to 2015. From 2017 to 2022, that number rose to 75%. Warmer weather is a pivotal factor. Warming can lead to more so extreme weather can lead to changes in wind patterns, which can also cause more weather delays, which can cause you to burn more fuel to get around those weather delays. Fuel from planes contributes to only 2% of all greenhouse gas emissions. However, aviation meteorologist Rob Eicher explains how air travel nonetheless contributes to the trapped greenhouse gases that warm different parts of Earth's surface at different rates, but leads to a cooler atmosphere higher up. The end result is a bigger temperature difference between the warm weather in the tropics and the colder weather in the upper levels of the atmosphere, colder air in the upper levels of the atmosphere over the North Pole. This bigger temperature difference can lead to faster columns of winds where planes fly, known as the jet stream winds. Despite the fact the jet's becoming faster, it's becoming more chaotic, so you might have more turbulence on this jet. PhD student moving. meteorologist Isabel Smith explains that turbulence around jet streams in cloud-free skies, known as clear air turbulence, can be most dangerous this time of year. So it can strike very suddenly and that's when most of the injuries arise. If you're a frequent flyer, you may know that anything that's not bolted down in the plane can violently shake around in this type of turbulence. Mike Bierster, pilot and father of ABC Big Two's very own Madeline Bierster, explains the sudden changes that can be picked up by a wind speed indicator. Wind at, let's say, 80 miles an hour off the left side of our plane, and it'll increase to 110. Stronger jet streams can also mean bigger afternoon thunderstorms. Those are usually above 50,000 feet. And they're huge and, you know, airplanes can't operate that high. Larger storms have more frequently impacted Bierster in his 37-year flying career in the form of lightning. And it shattered both windshields. And then uh, we could see enough to land. But it's no joke. Besides stormy weather, while heat and ice can also impact flight travel, it's morning fog and low clouds that cause the most frequent delays at the relatively small Midland Airport. You've got to have a light system to be able to follow in low visibility. So the bigger airports are easier to take off and land because they have such a great lighting system in low visibility. Poor visibility also from dusty thunderstorms, as National Weather Service meteorologist David Hennig believes, has increased the most in the basin in the past 10 years. They have a sudden deluge that rainfall hits the ground and it forces air out. Those winds can affect how planes take off or land if they can. When you dip your wing to stay on the runway, it can go so far where you start scraping the wing. Adding to all of the weather delays, KMAF broke a record number of travelers last fiscal year, amounting to 661,842 people. With the air traffic greatly increasing as, as much as it is, it really isn't gonna take much for small weather phenomena to make larger and larger impacts as we go forward in the next 10, 20 years. Weather-related air traffic delays can be tough, but forecasters, pilots, and airline members alike will continue to promote safety. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Ryan DePhillips, ABC Big 2 News. For more information, research, and statistics about this story, visit yourbasin.com.